Imagine being on a 3,000-ton vessel, roughly the weight of 20 blue whales, suddenly rising straight up the equivalent of a 40-story skyscraper in less than an hour. Not a science fiction fantasy, but an engineering reality on China's mighty Yangtze River. Welcome to the Three Gorges Dam Ship Lift, a $7.7 .7 billion vertical marine elevator that represents one of humanity's most ambitious conquests over geography and gravity. Today, we journey inside this marvel that's redefining what's possible in maritime transportation. Explore the audacious vision behind it and discover how this colossal lift is transforming China's economic arteries while setting new benchmarks in global engineering. The Dream of Generations The story of the Three Gorges ship lift begins not in the 21st century, but over a hundred years ago, in the ambitious mind of Dr. Sun Yat-sen, founding father of modern China. In 1919, as China emerged from imperial rule, Sun envisioned a monumental dam across the Yangtze that would tame floods, generate electricity, and crucially, transform navigation on China's most vital waterway. A dam capable of generating 30 million horsepower, Sun wrote, would be possible downstream of the Three Gorges. Yet, for nearly a century, this vision remained just that. A dream deferred through war, revolution, and economic limitations. The Yangtze, with its treacherous currents, deadly rapids, and seasonal floods, continued to challenge vessels attempting to navigate deep into China's interior. When construction of the Three Gorges Dam finally began in 1994, engineers were tasked with solving a fundamental problem, how to lift massive ships over a 370-foot concrete wall. The original five-stage lock system, while functional, was painfully slow, taking ships over three hours to complete the journey. China needed something revolutionary, something that would showcase not just its engineering might, but its emergence as a technological superpower. The answer? The world's largest ship elevator, engineering the impossible. Creating a vertical elevator for 3,000-ton ships presented unprecedented challenges. The ship lift would need to raise not just vessels, but an enormous pool of water in which they float, altogether weighing approximately 15,500 tons, to a height of 370 feet. Engineers faced a fundamental question. How do you safely lift the equivalent of four Olympic swimming pools filled with water and a massive ship without catastrophic failures? The solution came through a collaborative Chinese-German engineering team who spent decades refining the design. The original concept called for the chamber to be suspended by steel cables, but this was abandoned over stability concerns. Instead, they developed an ingenious counterweight system using concrete blocks connected by cables and a helical gear mechanism. This ensures perfect balance and redundant safety systems, meaning that even if power fails, the lift remains secure. The numbers are staggering. Ship basin dimensions, 400 feet long by 60 feet wide by 3.5 feet deep. Vertical lift distance, 370 feet, equivalent to a 40-story building. Weight capacity, 3,000 tons, plus water. Transit time, approximately 40 minutes, compared to 3 to 4 hours via locks. Each journey begins as the captain guides their vessel into the massive chamber. Massive gates seal behind the ship, creating a self-contained aquatic elevator. With precision measured in millimeters, Despite dealing with structures weighing thousands of tons, the lift begins its vertical journey. Special bearings supplied by international partners were crucial for the ship lift's climbing mechanism, requiring custom-designed components that could handle the enormous stresses while maintaining pinpoint accuracy year after year. The $7.7 .7 billion gamble. The ship lift wasn't just an engineering challenge, it was a financial one. As the final major component of the Three Gorges Dam project, the lift's $7.7 .7 billion price tag raised serious questions. Could such an investment ever pay for itself? The entire Three Gorges Dam project faced similar scrutiny. When initially approved in 1992, cost estimates were around $8 billion. By completion, the full project had ballooned to approximately $37 billion with the sophisticated ship lift representing a significant portion of those costs. Construction began as a massive undertaking, requiring specialized techniques never before attempted at this scale. Over 40,000 workers contributed to the broader dam project, 
with thousands focused specifically on the complex lift mechanism. What makes the price tag more remarkable is that the ship lift was built alongside the existing five-stage lock system. This redundancy wasn't excessive caution. It was recognition that China's economic future depended on reliable navigation of the Yangtze. The lift and locks together ensure continuous operations even during maintenance periods. The stakes were enormous. Any catastrophic failure wouldn't just damage China's prestige, it could paralyze commercial shipping on the nation's most vital waterway. Every component had to work perfectly, not just at launch but for decades to come, transforming a nation's arteries. When the ship lift began operations in 2016, it didn't just set records. It transformed the economics of transportation in central China. Prior to the Three Gorges Dam, navigating the Yangtze's upper reaches was treacherous. Seasonal fluctuations in water levels made reliable shipping impossible. Rapids and narrow gorges claimed countless vessels. The dam's reservoir created a 400-mile-long navigable waterway, and the ship lift became the crucial link connecting this new inland marine highway. For vessels up to 3,000 tons, transit time through the dam was slashed from over three hours to just 40 minutes. This dramatic improvement transformed the economics of Yangtze shipping, reducing fuel consumption, crew costs, and enabling more round trips. By February 2024, the ship lift had transported over 1 million passengers, 25,800 ships, and 15.49 million tons of cargo since its inauguration. This volume of traffic represents billions in economic activity flowing through China's heartland, connecting inland cities like Chongqing to global shipping routes. Today, ocean-going freighters can navigate 1,400 miles inland from Shanghai on the East China Sea to Chongqing, creating an economic corridor that has helped lift millions out of poverty. The tourist attraction. The Three Gorges ship lift isn't just a commercial transportation system, it's become one of China's premier tourism attractions, drawing visitors from around the world. Luxury cruise lines now offer passengers the unforgettable experience of rising 370 feet in this maritime elevator. High-end vessels like the Yangtze Explorer and Yangtze One can transit directly through the lift, while passengers on other cruise ships transfer to specialized sightseeing boats for the vertical journey. The experience has become so popular that VIP viewing areas have been created, offering premium views of this engineering spectacle. Tourists marvel at the precision as the massive chamber rises effortlessly, all while enjoying panoramic views of the surrounding landscape that changes dramatically during the ascent. After experiencing the lift, Visitors typically tour the broader Three Gorges Dam complex, getting a comprehensive view of what has become a symbol of China's technological ambitions and engineering prowess. Controversy and context. Like the broader Three Gorges Dam project, the ship lift exists in a context of controversy and debate. The dam's construction displaced at least 1.3 million people and submerged numerous cultural and archaeological sites beneath the rising reservoir. Environmental concerns continue to surround the project. The dam traps sediment that once flowed downstream, altering ecosystems hundreds of miles away. Water quality issues have emerged in some areas of the reservoir, yet proponents point to significant benefits. The dam generates enough clean hydroelectric power to offset approximately 100 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually. Its flood control capabilities have prevented potentially catastrophic events. The ship lift itself represents a more environmentally friendly transportation option. Moving goods by water produces significantly lower emissions per ton-mile than road or rail alternatives. By making water transportation more efficient, the lift contributes to China's efforts to reduce its carbon footprint. These complexities reflect broader questions about infrastructure mega-projects. How do we balance immediate environmental impacts against potential long-term benefits? Who decides what sacrifice is acceptable for collective progress? legacy of ambition. As we complete our journey through China's $7.7 .7 billion ship lift, we're left with a monument to human ambition and technical achievement that transcends national boundaries. This vertical voyage represents more than an engineering milestone. It embodies humanity's eternal quest to overcome natural barriers. From the ancient locks of the Grand Canal to this towering lift, We've continually sought to connect waterways for commerce and communication. The Three Gorges ship lift stands as a testament to what becomes possible 
when vision meets persistence. For over a century, the dream of conquering the Yangtze's formidable gorges inspired generations of engineers. Today, that dream rises 370 feet into the air, carrying ships and aspirations to new heights. Whether viewed as an economic catalyst, engineering marvel, tourist attraction, or symbol of human impact on nature, one thing remains certain. The Three Gorges shiplift has forever changed how we think about the possible. In its massive steel and concrete frame, we witness the culmination of human ingenuity and the opening chapter of new possibilities in our continuing dialogue with geography, physics, and our own boundless ambition.